Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to draw a Germany flag and this is how the flag looks like. You have uh, three stripes, uh, horizontal stripes. The top one is black and the middle is red. The bottom one is yellow. So let's go about drawing it. And before I draw, I will just show you what is our thought process here to draw the flag. So first of all, we are going to set up the canvas size here. So in this particular case, we are going to set for 800 as the length and 400 as the width. And this 400 width, we are going to divide it equally among three parts. So it is going to be approximately 133. You start from here. So this is where the origin is. We go to the left most top position here. And you know that you can use that uh, go to statement for doing that. And then you draw a horizontal line from here to here. And then a vertical line and followed by uh, another horizontal line uh, here. You can go ahead and complete it to go to the starting point, but we are going to stop here because once you do a fill, uh, it doesn't matter if you want to go all the way to the top or you stay here. And this is going to be filled with the black color. Now the turtle head is pointing in this particular direction. So for drawing the second stripe, we have to turn the turtle head completely in the opposite direction by turning it 180 degree. Now you have the turtle head pointing in this direction here. Now I go ahead and draw the red stripe similar to the way I have drawn the black one. So it's exactly going to be the same. The only thing that is different between the first stripe and the second stripe is the color. And then finally we do the same thing. Come here, draw the second stripe. And again pointing in this direction, turn in the opposite direction and then draw the yellow stripe. So let's go about and writing our code. So the first thing that we are going to do is to import the turtle library. And the way to do this is that from turtle import star. And we are going to set up the size of the canvas. And to do that, the function is set up. And we said that the length is going to be 800 and the width is 400. You can set up anything you want when uh, but you have to accordingly adjust the size of the stripe. Now we are going to use the go to statement to go to the top left position here. And uh, if I see here, this is zero, zero, right? And this coordinate, this is the X axis here. Let me draw with a separate color here. So this is the Y axis here, and this is the X axis here. And so this one is zero, zero, and we know that this whole canvas is 800 and the length. So this part is going to be 400, and this side is also going to be 400. So as you see that if we go to the left of the origin, this is going to be negative. So the coordinate of this topmost left position X is minus 400, and the Y from here to here is going to be 200 because half of 400 is 200. So this coordinate is going to be minus 400, 200. So that is where we are going to go. So minus 400, 200. So if I run this program, you see that you're going to this most position on the left. So it really doesn't matter to remove that line because we are going to fill that with the color, but it is a good practice, uh, right? Means if you're going to a certain coordinate, we have to first do a pen up and then go to that particular coordinate and then do a pen down. So now if I run this program, you are going to go to the leftmost position. Let's draw the black stripe. So I'm putting a comment here. So you have to go forward. And we are going to draw the stripe for the entire length. So it is going to be 800. And then right 90 degree. This is very similar to the rectangle program. We are going to go again and draw the vertical line here. And to do that, you have forward. And this time it is going to be 400 divided by three. So you can do approximately 33. You can also put a decimal number here. But for this, we are going to just put 133. Now you go again, right another 90 degree. So this one is the vertical line is drawn at this point of time. And then you do a forward and go to 800. So this is the another horizontal line drawn. So let's run the program and see what's happening here. So you go vertical and you come here. So as you can see, the turtle head is pointing in this direction. 
So let's point it to the opposite direction for the next stripe. So we turn right, you can also do left and then go 180 degree. So let's run this program. Yeah, and then if you can see here, the turtle head is pointing in this direction. We go ahead and fill the color uh, with black. So for the black, since it is a default color, you don't have to pick the color, but just for consistency, we are going to do that. And then uh, do the begin fill. And at the end of the drawing, I'm going to do an end fill here. Now, if I run this program, the same rectangle. Now, after it has completed the drawing, it filled with the black one. And then also my turtle head is pointing to the right hand direction. So I'm ready for the next stripe here. So all I have to do for the next stripe is to just copy this and then convert it to the next stripe that we have. So this one is going to be the red stripe. So I do a red stripe comment and then I change the color to red. Now this is going to draw the red stripe for us. So first it is going to do the black and then it goes and does the red and fill it with that. So as you can see that if you get the first stripe working, you can just go ahead and convert your program to the other stripes. So I copy this and then this is going to be the yellow stripe. So again, I put a comment here. And then I copy paste the code that we have written for the other stripe. And this time the color is going to be yellow. I go ahead and run this program. And then you see that first it is a black, second is red, and third the one is yellow. And this is the German flag. So let's go and look back at our program here. So we did a setup, we did a pen up and, and go to the particular coordinate, did the pen down, we drew the black stripe. The only thing this time we are drawing is that we are going only the, to the three side and not drawing the fourth one. So as you can see, this whole, the code for stripe is repeated. The only difference between them is the color. So in, instead of writing this three times, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function called draw stripe. And the only thing difference between all these stripes are going to be the color. So I'm going to pass the color as an argument here. And then I am going to put the entire thing here inside this function. So this is not going to be the black stripe. So I just take it out. And then instead of drawing the black stripe here, I am going to use the color variable that I have passed. So this is a function that is going to draw the stripe for us for the color that has been specified. Now I'm going to call this function for the black stripe. So I do use the function name and pass the color black here. So what is happening is uh, this function is getting called and then the color variable will have the black color and then I'm drawing the first stripe. Now I have to repeat this for the other stripe. Uh, for the red stripe, I just have to call the same function with the red stripe and this is going to be deleted. I lo no longer need this. Similarly, for the yellow stripe, I call this function with the yellow stripe and get rid of this uh, whole code here. So look how program become much more simplified, right? You have one function to draw the stripes and then you're calling it three times here with different color. Let's go and run this program and see. You saw the, all the three stripes. You can also increase the speed of the turtle by putting a speed command here. Not that we are familiar how the, the drawing is happening. I can just go ahead and add the speed here to zero, which is the maximum speed. And then you can see that how quickly uh, all the three stripes are getting drawn. One more thing that we can do is that I can write a for loop for drawing the stripes. So as you see that I'm repeating this uh, call draw stripe three times with three different color. So I can create a list for the colors. So the first one is the black. The second one is uh, red. And the third one is going to be yellow. And now I'm going to create a for loop here for X in range. And I'm going to repeat this three times because for the three stripes here. Now I can get this rid of this and, and, and you didn't, don't need any of those things. All you have to do is call the draw stripe function three times. 
but now you can see that you have to do the color selection. So this is a list. And the first time if I have to select the black color, the color index is going to be zero. So it should be something color is equal to colors zero, right? So if I have to select the black color, it is going to be the list name and the index zero here, right? If I have to select the red color, it is going to be colors with an index of one here. And similarly for uh, yellow, it should be two, color two. But as you can see that inside the for loop, I cannot do that. So I can create a variable here called color. And here you can select the list and do a x mod three. So what is this going to do is that means uh, x mod three is going to give me the remainder. So initially you know that the x is going to be zero. The first time when this loops gets executed, x is going to be zero. And I, I, I do a zero mod three, I'm going to get the remainder of zero. So it is going to pick the black color. The second time the loop runs, x is going to be one. And if I do a mod of one mod three, which is the remainder, I'm going to get one. So it is going to pick the red color. And I repeat it for the third time. Again, X is going to be two and two mod three is two, the remainder. So it is going to give me the yellow color. So now I can go ahead and change this. And then I'm storing the color here. And then I'm going to pass that color. Again, if you're not comfortable with this, then you can go ahead and then just call this function three times with three different color. You can use this program for drawing other flags also because a lot of uh, flags of the different countries are horizontal stripes and uh, you can just have to change the color here. So let's go back and look at our program again. This is the setup. We are going to the leftmost coordinate and then we are calling a function uh, to draw the stripes and we are calling that function three types and passing the three different color choices here. So if you like this program, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, put it in the comments. Thanks. Bye.